for your, oh my gosh, for your so clipboard. <laughs> oh, they say I've got beans on yeah, it. Yeah. So hey, everybody. Welcome back to Sam Can Do. Um, I'm a mom. I'm a maker. And I'm a Glowforge enthusiast. But I wanted to do something different today. Um, I wanted to make something because I kind of make things for myself and then it feels like cool I made this you know I put it out there for you guys which I absolutely love but I was thinking what if I could like hype up some local businesses that I love and make them specialized Glowforge things that maybe would just really bless their day kind of pass it forward basically I've been thinking about this coffee shop that I love it's called Uncle Beans it's in my neighborhood and every single time I go there they are the freaking nicest people that I have ever met in my life. Like they're always saying like, oh my gosh, you look so nice today, or I hope you're doing well. And they're just like so kind and like, which song, what, you know, what, what's going on? What are you doing today? And I just, I don't know, it really touches me. And then the last time I was there, I was using Apple Pay because I'd be losing my wallet all the time. And they were having trouble with their machine. And I was like, look, you know, can I do this? Can I do this? And I was like, I have to go. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm running late. And they just like gave me my coffee and I felt like that was really kind and they didn't have to do that. And so I wanted to do something special for them. So they give us these little clipboards to sign every time I'm there. And I wondered if I could make something custom just for them. That being said, they're amazing, but they use these little clipboards. And I don't know how to say it other than they're kind of ugly. <laughs> so I went about looking how I could make them myself. Now my first idea was to take a piece of actual like um, proof grade acrylic Ooh. was to take a, pr a piece of proof grade acrylic, engrave their logo, and then add some hardware. Now, everything that I found online that had like clipboard hardware used rivets, and you would actually have to set a rivet into it, and that just seemed a little bit complicated. Um, but I'll talk to you about how you can do this in the first place if you wanted to do it that way. So I went ahead, went on Amazon, I bought this kit right here, right here, with all these different colors, and I just said, you know what? I'm gonna buy these, I'm gonna engrave their logo into it, and see how it comes out. Now, when you ever, if, if you're trying to do this at home, because also if you have a Glowforge and you want to make things like this for people to sell or to give or whatever, or for yourself, um, you want to make sure that you cut out a space um, in like a big piece of acrylic or a big piece of wood. So you want to make sure that you cut out a space for that item that way because even though there's a camera and you can kind of drag and drop a logo on there, it isn't always center. So that way, if you have like a square, then you cut that out and you know that the engraving is going to go in the middle. You have kind of a guide that you can put it. So I cut a square in, in some acrylic and I put the, the, I made sure it was a little bit bigger than clipboards, put those in there, put some masking tape and I just engraved them like I would engrave any other acrylic and I think they turned out pretty awesome. Okay, now if you wanted to do it out of acrylic, you didn't wanna buy, pre-buy any clipboards or anything, you could do it just like this. So this is actually the neon, neon medium acrylic. And it really does come out kind of cool. I, I like the way it comes out on this material kind of better, but um, you know, it, it's all good. Oh, this is so cool. So you could do a piece of acrylic just like this and, you, and it really doesn't do justice on camera how like, glowing this looks in real life but then just get a decorative binder clip like something that's real big maybe something that um has like more on amazon i think they have these ones i'll put it right here if i can find it that are a little bit more vintage you stick it on there and then you have this same same situation a little bit more custom especially if you cut out like you could even round out the edges you could do anything but yeah so i'm on my way to uncle beans right now nervous I'm like what if they don't like them what if the hardware is weird it's fine I'm just I just hope that they know from a local fan that I like them and look how cute these are they're so subtle I think they're precious but time will tell how they feel so I was Basically, I came through, I think a couple weeks ago, and I, or maybe it was a week ago, and the Apple Pay wasn't working, someone bought me coffee. They were like, oh, just take it, it's fine. You're always just so nice. Yeah. <laughs> and so I made these at home, because I know you use them for your, oh my gosh, for your so clipboard. <laughs> oh, 
you say I got beans on yeah, it? Yeah, so they kind of reminded me of y'all's colors and That's stuff. So cute, thank you. Yeah, I don't know if the hardware is too firm for y'all to use, so if you end up oh. not using it, it won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna definitely use these. Yeah, no problem. So I think this is a really um, fun, short video series that I'd like to do. Um, just kind of hyping up some of my favorite businesses. I'm so glad that they liked it because I, I don't know why I was like nervous. I was like, what if they hate this and they think this is stupid? But I think they really liked it. So I can't wait to go next time and hopefully see the clipboards, um, you know, and yeah. So I'm gonna hopefully do this again with other businesses that I enjoy, I have them already lined up. And I'm so glad for y'all sticking with me. I don't know if you know, this is the first video I think I'm recording as I have quit my full-time job and I'm now making content in this space full-time. So that's gonna be exciting. You can expect a lot more videos, a lot closer to once a week, if not two in some weeks. And I'm excited to make things for you. So please comment down below if there's certain stuff that you wanna see. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.